I'd like to say thanks to the Appeal to the World campaign for giving me an opportunity to express my thoughts on this matter. I'm Tracy McFarlane. I am a lecturer in psychology at the University of the West Indies in Kingston, Jamaica. That's the Mona campus. And I teach courses related to social, personality, and health psychology. My concern that I'd like us to be paying more attention to in relation to women is it lies within the matter of social inequalities and health. In this disciplinary area, uh, explanations are sought and um, efforts to address the ways in which there are disparities in access to health and health outcomes. In relation to women in particular, I'd like us to think more across the world about how not just the fact of gender differences, but among women, how matters like their social roles, gender ideologies that influence women's lives, the types of work they do, where they live, and the responsibilities that they have within their social networks, how all of that influences the way they think about their health, their attitudes towards seeking help related to their health, and even the courses of treatments that women will seek and have access to. Um, I also want us to think about how women's lives might predispose them disproportionately to poor health outcomes. Stressors that are associated with the roles that women play might exacerbate or even um, expose them disproportionately to poor health outcomes. So I want us to be thinking not only about gender differences and even when it comes to women, I'd like us to be looking beyond reproductive health to health more broadly and um, really taking seriously the lived experiences of women across the world and how these matters have implications for their health. Thank you, and again, thanks to the Appeal to the World campaign.